Hey everyone, John with the Active Towns channel. Uh, today is Sunday, August 28th, 2022, and I am back in Fort Collins, Colorado uh, to check out Open Streets uh, for this year. First time back since 2019, uh, so it's wonderful to have this event uh, open again, <laughs> Open Streets. So let's swing this around and have some fun. Check it out. And some of the, the tent areas, some of the nodes are a little bit more crowded, a little bit more intense. In some cases, you actually will need to get off and walk the bike if it's too crowded. You can see that this section of the street there is a nice buffered bike lane. Unfortunately, there's parking over there. It's a fairly generous door zone buffered bike lane. Again, to be truly all ages and abilities, this wouldn't feel as much like a runway. But that's one of the reasons why you hold these events is so that you can sort of help the community reimagine what streets are for. All right, hi, my name is Anna Kelso. I'm the new active mode specialist with FC Moves and we're really excited today. We're out here doing open streets for the first time since COVID. Um, and it's really um, a, a great celebration of rethinking um, where bikes and pedestrians fit within our built environment. Um, it's a day for kids and families to be out on their bikes, on their skateboards, on their scooters, and just enjoying the streets and uh, and enjoying different active modes in a safe and protected environment. Um, and hopefully this kind of helps us conceptualize and think about um, what our streets could look like if this was every day, if we rode our bikes every day like this, um, how different um, and how what an even healthier and more vibrant community Fort Collins could be. Yeah, that's, that's so true. And and if we swing around here, we can see that we're at a middle school. And so, you know, that's part of what you know we're talking about here is reimagining what our streets could be for. Yeah, so. Oh, right. Yeah. In fact, reimagining, like, I mean, especially when we're talking about kids being able to safely ride their bikes to school. Mm -hmm. um, and you know that you live in a bicycle friendly town when your child can safely ride their bikes to school. And that's really what we're working here in Fort Collins. Fantastic. So, that's great. Yeah. So how many people do you think you get? Gosh, we're hoping, I think, about 5,000 for the whole day. Um, but, you know, it's really, numbers are kind of crazy after COVID. You never know um, how it's going to pan out. But roughly 5,000, yeah. What do you think are the, the most favorite things for the families and the kids uh, when they come out to this? I mean, I think first there's just the freedom of being able to freely ride your bike and walk and skateboard in the streets um, in a safe environment. Uh, then you got your free cotton candy and the music and the chalk the block um, and just the ability to be outside and, and rethink where people belong in the streetscape. This year's route is one of our longest, if not, I think, our longest route we've ever had. Um, it's just under two miles long. Um, and so it's actually open streets um, is... Um, a derivative of Ciclavia, which started um, in Colombia in the early 70s, um, where they realized that their streets were so unfriendly to bikes and pedestrians that they shut them down every Sunday morning um, from 7 to 3 and would have over a million people coming out to enjoy the streets. Um, so that's the story behind Open Streets and why we're out here. This summer's um, Open Streets route is uh, Stover and we chose that to really highlight some of our low stress networks. Um, so Stover is a low stress network that can help folks get um, north and south um, a north-south corridor. Uh, in the future, I think we're hoping to do some more ambitious um, locations that really help us, that are a more ambitious, dramatic uh, change between cars and bikes and so that you can really see that difference between what it looks like for a car, for a street to be bike-filled versus, versus car-filled. So we're hoping to see some more um, like ambitious arterial streets being shut down for future open streets. 
So we're looking to the spring um, of 2023 for our next open streets and looking to do it about twice a year, um, if not more regular, but for right now we're looking for um, twice a year for open streets. We have a lot of uh, really amazing um, programs within FC Moves and one that I'm most particularly proud of is the Asphalt Art Program. Um, this is a program that helps us to quickly change our street streetscape um, and if we couple it with other um, applications we can do some serious traffic calming and community building um, in a low-cost quick build um, way so we can quickly change um, how we're interacting with the streets and and do some serious traffic calming um, in a short amount of time. Oh, that's the natural areas tenant. And it looks like we have the Xeriscape area. The city. Hey, hey, how's it going? And it looks like we have spin bikes up here. So that's pretty good. What y'all doing? Ah, there you go, spin bikes, yeah, nice. You know, I've never been on the spin bike before, but oh, uh, get, give me the spiel. Who are you guys and why are you here? And Totally. Yeah, yeah we're, we're here working with the city and university, okay. uh, offering dockless micromobility to, to folks around. Uh, super excited to be here. I've seen a lot of ridership mm -hmm. and yeah, here today just spreading the message about the service, yeah. some of our safety measures, how we recommend riding, yeah. really just trying to get word out there for folks. Fantastic. So. And how long has spin uh, been like... I guess the official <laughs> dockless shared mobility yeah. up here. Yes, yeah, since July of 2021. Okay, so just July over a year now. Just over a year. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so we've Excellent. seen a lot of ridership this year. Okay. Uh, really just looking to keep building the service. Okay. And yeah, getting word out there to more folks. Excellent. Now, does the city still have uh, any kind of docked based system or is this kind of shifted over? Not at the moment. Okay. Um, so we do, you know, recommend parking of vehicles at bike racks. So okay. either city bike racks and at CSU, we actually require parking at racks okay. at the university. Okay. Um, so there's not a station to station model at this point. Right. But we do have organized deployment points where we'll deploy the bikes and the scooters right. in a specific location. Right. For example, all up and down the max line, you can find our vehicles deployed at those stations very frequently. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Great, that's great. Absolutely. And uh, how many units do you guys have out on uh, on the streets here? Right now we have about 800. Okay, um, 800 permit, units. We can reach about 900. We just got another shipment of bikes in, so okay. we're gonna reach that 900 number really soon. Um, so yeah, excited to have more vehicles and more options out there for folks. Nice, nice. And I see we've got uh, the new sort of uh, electric bike option here. How popular has that been? It's been popular. So we see a lot of ridership both on the scooters and mm -hmm. on the bikes. Right. Um, different profiles of riders and types of rides. Mm -hmm. Scooters are more of the quick hop on, hop off rides. So right. we see more scooter rides just because they're the shorter rides. Right. We see more or, or longer rides on the e-bikes. Right. Um, so even though there are less rides on the bikes, people will take them to, to further distances within our service area. Fantastic. So really just kind of different profile. We'll see more rec ridership on the bikes as well, on the trail system. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it, you know, both have their different use cases and have been very popular for folks. Yeah. Fantastic. Is there a, a, a particular limit in terms of like where they can go? Like if I jump on the uh, the electric assist bike and I go out on some of the, the trails and pathways, can I get pretty far out? Anywhere within Fort Collins city limits. Okay. So once you are outside of the city limits, that'll be outside of our service area. Okay. Um, that spans quite a bit. You okay. know, there are all the way down to, you know, Carpenter on the south side. Right. Over, you know, east of Timberline on the on the east side. Right. Up north, you know, getting into the North College neighborhoods. Yeah. Um, so really, you know, a, a lot of the areas around town. We're trying to expand more to neighboring municipalities so that okay. you can ride a bike to Laporte or down, you know, to Boyd Lake and Loveland. Right, um, right. But yeah, future conversations to be had. Fantastic. That's great. Awesome. Excellent. How long have you been with Spin? Uh, I've been with Spin about three years. Fantastic. So I, I worked yeah. in our North Carolina markets before this and ah. was able to come out and launch this market here in Colorado. So Excellent. How are you liking Colorado? Oh, amazing. It's been, yeah. it's been a fun run out here and to uh, really just be able to bring the service out here for folks. Yeah. Uh, 
brings me a lot of joy, you know, yeah. a sustainable, accessible transportation option for folks. So been great being out here and really happy to have seen the, the reception and ridership we've gotten out here too. That's great. That's great. I'm sure I'll, I'll see some uh, spin bikes as I, I'm going around here I today. I just saw so. a scooter going by behind us there as you we were go. chatting. So uh, <laughs> end vogue for the day. Absolutely. Fantastic. So, What's your awesome. name? Jimmy. Jimmy. Fantastic. Yes. And your role is? Uh, operations manager for Colorado. Operation. And your yep. name is? Uh, Colton. Fantastic. Jimmy, awesome. Colton, thank you very much. Yeah. What are those like to ride? They're pretty cool. Yeah? yeah? Your first time on them? Yes, this was my first time getting one. It was super easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I had to do it because I'm taking photos for the city today. So mm -hmm. I didn't want to walk the whole mile. Yeah. But yeah, the electric assist is like amazing Yay. too. It's so much fun. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. All right. been to open streets before this is my third okay so yeah you know did, open I, I i did uh 2018 2019 awesome. and we got uh, almost two miles of streets almost two miles this cars. year yeah fantastic come out in your bike your yeah. scooter your rollerblades your skateboard <laughs> your feet what's your most frequently asked question wow where is the Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, Music, dot. Music, food vendor. Right. Yeah, we've got a, we got maps here. Well, let's take, come show me the map. Let's everything. let's take a look at the map here. Everything you want to know about where things are. Ooh, look at that. Okay. And open streets today. So almost two miles. That's fantastic. Is that about the average From length? Uh, to each year, yeah, do you we're think? creeping toward two miles. Yeah, okay. so horse to to not. If we went all the way to Prospect, we'd be two miles. So okay. it goes up to Stewart Street. Got it. Fantastic. With Hubs Music is here. All right. Food vendors, vendor vendors, activities in the streets. Yep. All kinds of fun stuff all day today. That's and great. A beautiful day. A nice. We're going to get our sky. vitamin D today, I we tell you. <laughs> That's great. And your name is? I'm Chip. Nice to meet you, Chip. How long have you been volunteering for Open Streets? Eight years. Eight Seven years. years. Whenever it started. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it amazing? It is. It's a great thing. It's such a, a fun thing to do. That's great. Chip, thank you so very much for uh, chatting Welcome. with me a little bit about uh, Open Streets 2022. Yes. <laughs> very good. Good job, James. <laughs> You've got uh, some acrobatic uh, cyclists up here. Yeah. <laughs> it's great when they are, are to the point where they're so uh, comfortable on a bike. <laughs> yeah, they're just, I mean, they're, she can go on bike rides kind of by herself in the neighborhood now. Yeah. Oh, you guys are in this neighborhood? Um, we're not, but our friends are. But okay. We live, we live on the west side, like yeah. the Constitution. Yeah. Bike to the pool, the whole new world, yeah. Oh, that's great. How old now? They're both eight. Okay. Yeah, it's such a such a massive amount of freedom and being able to get out and, and explore and be able to get places on their own. And then we so. went, we were in Breckenridge this mm -hmm. summer and we, we did that bike ride from Breckenridge to Briscoe. Yeah, on the path and, there. Yeah. And she did the whole thing. Yeah. There was a, it was touch and go at the very end. Yeah, yeah. Um, but she did it, and it was like it was a, it was awesome. For yeah. Us. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. You're watching the bird. Hey hey hey! How are you? Good. Are you John? I'm John. I'm Courtney. Courtney. I'm Courtney Geary, I'm the Active Modes Manager for the City of Fort Collins and we're doing a challenge in the months of September and October where we're asking people to shift at least one trip per week from driving alone to something else. They could carpool, bike, walk, scooter, take the bus, 
and hopefully they'll enjoy it and try it more throughout the year. We're working on updating our active modes plan, which is combining our bike plan and our pedestrian plan, as well as incorporating micromobility devices like scooters and skateboards. And we're looking at the improvements in the infrastructure that we want to make over the next five years in the near term, really building out the network that we have focused in the core of the city, and then into the midterm, into the next five to 10 years, expanding out further north and east to connect people um, in destinations across the city. And Courtney was gracious enough to meet up with me about a week later uh, to do an infrastructure tour of some of the great cycle network that they are putting on the ground now. Uh, so please stay tuned and keep an eye out for that video. Here we go, we've got our battery electric transport bus. Transport is the name of the transit agency up here in Fort Collins. My name is Tim and uh, I'm with Safe Routes to School and this is our magic kid-powered school bus. I love it. I love it. Now I've seen kid-powered school buses in the Netherlands before. Since most kids actually bike to school in the Netherlands, they use the, uh, the, the biking buses for getting to extracurricular events. Oh, nice. Like going to the park or going to the museum or stuff like that. So Great. And I yeah. mean, we do have, you know, thousands of kids in Fort Collins that ride their bikes or walk or yep. scooter to school. Yeah. And so we just try to uh, show them the best ways and, uh, and, and teach them the rules of the road so they're doing it safely and wisely and having fun. Fantastic. That's great. Now, do you guys have like a, a bike skills uh, education program as part of uh, the city? We do. So okay. it's um, a, a city event, a, a city um, program, mm -hmm. and we uh, work with kids uh, K through 12, okay. and um, all grade levels, uh, and age-appropriate skills, everything from walking and crossing streets wisely and carefully mm -hmm. to um, even for like seniors in high school, okay. um, how to be better uh, drivers in their cars right. around cyclists. Um, middle schooler kids who are sort of, you know, riding more independently. Uh, we teach them how to ride on streets, many for the kind of the first time. Right. And um, teach them rules of the roads so if they're um, just riding smart. Yeah, that's oh, fantastic. Your camera just turned off. That's fantastic. Hey. <laughs> Excellent. Well, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, you're welcome. Excellent. All cool. right, have a great day. One more shot here. Way to go! <laughs> the best school bus I've ever seen. Isne, very good. And do you live here in the neighborhood? Yes, we live here. Fantastic. Yes. And uh, tell us a little bit about the experience today. What was it like? Uh, it was really fun for yeah. the kids, yeah. Yeah? Yes. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, what did you like best? <laughs> Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel, yeah. A lot of wheels. <laughs> so as parents, what you know, how important is it to have you know open streets events like this? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah, daddy. So I love open streets. Yeah. I mean, I remember like the first time they did it. Mm -hmm. um, it was disappointing that we couldn't do it for two years. Yeah. Um, it's just a fun way to get out with the kids and yeah. see other families biking and walking and yeah. hanging out. Yeah, so. great way to see the streets in a different way. Yeah. So. yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. And your name was? Uh, Joe. Joe. Wonderful. Thank you both Thank so much. You. Yay. Cool. Thanks. Uh, 
I'm Dave Dixon. I'm the executive director with Bike Fort Collins. And I'm Rick Arneson, and I'm on the board of uh, Bike Fort Collins. Bike Fort Collins is uh, the local bicycle advocacy and youth education organization in, in Fort Collins. Our mission is uh, to increase participation in active transportation, advance a culture of, of bicycling and uh, creating safe streets and safe communities, while also creating an empowering bike culture that is uh, inclusive regardless of ability or identity and we realize that's a mouthful so what we just tell the community is hey look we're all about more bikes and safe streets safe streets, <laughs> safe streets. and we're out here at the open streets event talk a little bit about how powerful it is to have community events like this well i think if you just look around you can kind of get a sense that this is just a little bit of a different street here and uh, this is fort collins and we kind of like uh, getting used to this uh, you'll notice families Kids, people of all age, we think we're getting some work done here around that. And let's not forget to look at those smiles. There's a sense of community in what we do. And what I would add to that too yeah. is that in, in Fort Collins, our vision as an organization is for Fort Collins to be the Amsterdam of the U.S. when it comes to cycling. And, uh, and we think this is real indicative and certainly a, a good start. Because we feel like if, when, when, if we were to fulfill that vision, our streets would look like this all the time. And we'd love, we'd love that day to come. In fact, we have folks sign up and affirm that they'd love to see that vision too and have hundreds of people signing up um, every time we host one of these booths like this. So super, super exciting and we love days like this between open streets, bike to work day. Uh, these are some of our favorite days. Great, great. And Anna uh, said that I really needed to come and, and talk with you. Talk a little bit about how you as a nonprofit work in conjunction with the city. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we are really pleased to have a longstanding partnership with the city. Um, and we partnered with them in a number of ways. Um, dating back to uh, 2008, we started the Fort Collins Bicycle Library. Uh, with the city, which was a precursor to the modern day bike shares that we see today. Um, but then also shortly after that, and now for over a decade, we've partnered with the city in delivering all the safe routes to school programming within the within Fort Collins. Uh, so the city contracts with Bike Fort Collins and our uh, roster of safe routes to school instructors delivers all that curriculum with partnership with the Pooter School District here in town. And we deliver all the safe routes to school uh, programming, which is, includes the rules of the road, uh, bike, bike skills uh, development, um, and we have different curriculums for each level of school, elementary, middle, and high. So we're really proud and really fortunate um, to have the partnership that we do with the city here and be, and be part of and have that relationship in one of the most bike-friendly cities that we think in the country, um, one of only five platinum-level bicycle-friendly communities in the country and uh, all things we're really proud with. And for us, it really doesn't stop there because we actually have similar partnerships with the Larimer County Department of uh, Health and the Built Environment, where we do similar programming. And that programming for us is not only within the city, but also extends outside with, into the broader county and really focuses on a lot of bicycle equity work where we're working to help make sure that uh, low-income communities have access to bikes, whether it's bike donation program, bike repair sessions, things like that, to make sure that, the, that those communities have equal access to bikes as well. Visit us at bikeforcollins.org. All the programs we just talked about, uh, we talk about there. And otherwise, uh, yeah, come out and join us at one of our events. We have a lot of great community building events and events where we celebrate cycling. realize this was going to be happening. Okay. So what do you think? Huh? It's fantastic. Yeah. I, I love it. I wish that we had things like this going on more often. I just didn't realize. Um, the town has grown a lot. I grew up here. The town has grown a lot. So I don't get out as much as I used to. And I work from home now, which is another reason why I don't get out very much. So I'm missing out on some things. But um, I know they've done this before in other parts of town. Yes. I'm yeah. excited to see it right around the corner from my house. So yeah. I love this. Um, I like seeing community-based things going on in this city, still. I grew up knowing them, you know, doing this kind of stuff, and I'm glad to see it continuing. I hear more and more people saying that it still has a small town feel, and that is extremely important to me. Right. Um, I know how much the city has grown. I've been here since 67, 
I grew up, I graduated from Fort Collins High School. So I know how much the city's grown, but I, I appreciate the fact that it still feels like home. Yeah, that's great. Okay, folks, it's time to wrap up this profile video of the Fort Collins Open Streets event 2022. And uh, delighted to be able to do this to the sounds of the amazing Iron Family singers and dancers. Uh, it is a group out of the Fort Collins, uh, Colorado area. They share Native American culture through song, dance, and storytelling. Uh, I'll have a link in the show notes and in the video description below uh, so that you can check out more information about them. Hey, if you enjoyed enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, please, I'd be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Again, thank you very much for tuning in. And until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. <laughs>